Greetings, it is I, Christ. I wish to speak about inspiration as you're all to inspire, bringing love and light onto the world. You are all divine sparks, and your divine sparks are growing as I speak, and your energy fields are like magnets drawing others closer to the light. As you allow your light to shine, you grow closer to God, and your pure essence becomes such an inspiration onto the world. Today, I wish to call forth the purity of each of your souls so you may inspire, support, and love yourselves. Today, we honor the power of you. May your light shine so others may see. Shall we begin? Dearest children of the light, yes, it is I, Christ. My Mary is here as well. We honor you as we honor the light that you hold and the light that you carry and the light that you bring to this planet. Indeed, dearest ones, it appears as if the dark days are overtaking the light, but this is not a truth. And so many of you are feeling this sense of what we call the energy of transition. It is the energy of merging from darkness into light, as if the energy of Mother Earth's soul is merging from the dark night of the soul, merging into her brilliance, into her magnificence. This is what is happening to each of you. As you are shedding the old and making way for the new, your light continues to shine brighter and brighter and brighter as you are clearing the essence and the frequencies that no longer serve you. For many of you, you have made, as they say, the agreement to come into this incarnation with your eyes wide open, to clear as much karma and to clear what we call the soul's journey in this incarnation with great fervor. And so I ask each of you, if you so shall, to place your feet upon the ground and place a, take a deep inhaling breath and simply begin to breathe in what we call the elixir of life the energy of the God essence that is the divine spark of you. So breathe, my children, breathe. Breathe in the energy of the divine spark of you. Breathing, breathing, and breathing in the beautiful energy and the magnificence of your own soul. So breathe, my children, breathe. Breathe, my children, breathe. Breathe, my children, breathe. As you begin to feel the essence of your beautiful soul and the magnificence of allowing yourself to merge and yes, to purge into your true divine essence, as if the beauty of you is shining through you, letting go and letting go. It is the energy of Divine Mother that you are feeling. It is the energy of the Divine Father that you are feeling it is the energy of all that is that you are feeling. It is the magnificence and the grandness of the unity of love. The love that is pouring upon this planet is beyond each of your comprehension. This love, as we have spoken of many times, will heal all. And so allow this frequency to continue to heal you and to purge you and to clear you from the lower vibrations that have, as they say, ruled your soul for eons of time. You may begin to feel this as an intensity. And yes, many of you are shedding tears, feeling disoriented, disconnected from the true essence. But know that this is a part of the clearing just as Mother Earth continues to clear and clear and clear the frequencies from her back so she too can merge and purge into her divine essence. You see, dearest one, you are all the inspiration. You are all the divine sparks. And you are needed on this planet. Your light continues to change the world. Your light continues to be like a magnet that draws others to you physically, and energetically. Let your light shine so others may feel, see, and know the truth. 
Let your light shine so others may feel and know the truth. The truth of the purity of their own soul, the innocence of their own soul, and the light that they carry is the light of God. So I ask you, dearest children, to begin to, as they say, shed the old and make way for the new. Yes, as you go through what you call the dark dark night of the soul for many of you, you'll begin to see that the shadow side of you is your friend. They're helping you to merge into your divine essence. And so in grace and rejoice, those aspects of yourself that are coming up to be cleared, that are coming up to be healed, that are coming up to be lost. And so love all aspects of yourself, every aspect that you see, every aspect that is you. This is the essence of your own growth, honoring and loving yourself, feeling the power, feeling the presence, feeling the peace, feeling the tranquility. Indeed, dearest ones, you are the inspiration and you are the light of the world. Many of you, as they say, are holding so much light that it can be blinding for others. It can even be blinding to yourself as you have, in many ways, not allowed yourself to see your light. If you could see the brilliance of your own light body, you would be amazed by the magnificence of who you are. And yet, as they say, the shadow side of yourself. The aspects of your ego and the pain and trauma of your soul have prohibited you from seeing your magnificence and brilliance. And so, dearest one, take a deep breath and breathe in the magnificence of your own light. Breathing in the divine spark of the essence of God inside of you. So breathe, my children, breathe. Breathe in the energy of the divine spark, of the brilliance of you. And again, may the love of God surround you. The power of God protects you. The presence of God watches over you. Wherever you are, God is and all is well. May you feel the power. May you feel the presence. May you feel the glory. May you feel the love. Feeling the power, feeling the presence, feeling the glory, feeling the love. Can you tap in to the essence of love inside of yourself? Can you place, as they say, yourself into perspective? Simply meaning... Can you emotionally or energetically detach yourself from your ego and see your magnificence and see all the good that you have done, all that you've inspired, not only in this lifetime, through all generations of time, through all your soul incarnations, the goodness, the richness, the brilliance, and you feel your I am presence. Can you tap into your oversoul? These are questions I bring to you upon this day. As you begin to really remember that you are indeed an inspiration. Be the inspiration to yourself. Shed the old, make way for the new. Can you tap into your magnificence in this moment? Can you feel the brilliance of your soul? I ask you these questions for you to begin to think about it. 
and to allow yourself to accept it. Because you are simply, as you know, more than your personality, more than your physicality. You are a powerful, brilliant, divine spark of light that has come to this planet to serve and to be served. So feel the power, feel the glory, feel the love. And so I ask you to breathe into your heart, feeling the power, feeling the glory, feeling the love. Feeling the power, feel the glory, feeling the love. And so in this moment of time, if you so shall, we see the layers and upon layers of your own soul being shedding away as if like an onion that is being peeled and clearing away the layers of energy that no longer serve you, that cause you to remain in pain and suffering, and denial of who you are. And so take a deep breath. And I step forward to clear these frequencies around you as if you can get to what you call your seed atom, the origination of your divine spark, and feel the brilliance and the power of who you are. So to take a deep breath into your heart, may you begin to feel the layers upon layers of energy that are not the truth of you to be released, transmuted, letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go. And so as I hold this space of love for you, my Mary steps forward to complete the transmission upon this day. As you feel your magnificence, as you feel your brilliance, as you are the divine spark. As you just want you are the inspiration that will change the world. You are the inspiration that will shift the consciousness of all of humanity from fear to love. Your influence, your light, your words, your inspiration, your devotion, is so needed upon this planet And we honor you, and we thank you, and indeed, we are here to continue to support you and to inspire you to be the magnificent being of light that you are. Now I shall step back and allow my Mary to speak. And we thank you, Christ, and we are truly truly grateful. Greetings, beloved. Yes, it is I, Mary Magdalene. Today, I am holding each of you in the palm of my hands like a precious gem. 
like a precious gemstone. You are like beautiful diamonds that are being polished. You are like beautiful diamonds. And your beautiful light and your beautiful frequency and your beautiful holy divine grace are indeed, dearest children, being felt, being recognized, and being honored upon this day. And so, dear one, as you feel this magnificence of your beautiful soul, may you feel the love of God surround you The power of God protects you. The presence of God watches over you. Wherever you are, God is, and indeed, all is well. May you feel the power. May you feel the presence. May you feel the love upon your soul as the beautiful gem that you are. You, dearest ones, are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gems of life. You, dearest children, are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gems of light. You, dearest children, are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gems of light. And may the power and the presence of God's living light be felt upon your soul. May the power, may the presence of beautiful God's light be felt upon your soul. May you feel the power of God's love healing you, restoring you, renewing you. May you feel this magnificence and brilliance of your own soul. For your beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gems, like beautiful diamonds shining brightly. You are indeed, dearest children, beautiful, 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 powerful beings of light. And as your Jeshua clears the frequencies around you, the layers and layers of energy that no longer serve you, that have been causing you pain and suffering, we want you to shine like the beautiful diamonds that you are, the brilliant gemstones that you are. You are magnificent. You are beautiful. You are powerful. You are indeed the divine spark of light that will inspire others to feel, to sense their own magnificence. The brilliance of you is now stepping forward. The power of you is stepping forward. The magnificence of you is stepping forward as if you're looking back at yourself and saying, who was that? You have stepped out of your shadow and merged into the light. You have stepped out of your shadow and merged into the light. And so breathe, my children, breathe. Breathe, my children, breathe. Breathe, my children, breathe. You have moved out of the shadow and merged into the light. Breathe, my children, breathe. You've moved out of the shadow and into the light. Breathe, my children, breathe. You've moved out of the shadow and into the light. Breathe, my children, breathe. You've moved out of the shadow into the light. Breathe, breathe, breathe into your magnificence. For you are all magnificent, brilliant, 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 shining light. Beautiful, beautiful divine spark of love and light and healing and restoration. And allow yourself, as they say, to turn around and look back at your shadow self and see your magnificent shining forth. For all the world to see and all the world to know, they see your brilliance, they see your magnificence, they see your light, they feel your love. Can you feel it for yourself? Can you honor yourself? This is the day to honor yourself. As you've just 
celebrated the honoring of the mother. Honor the divine mother within you. Honor the divine father within you. Honor the divine essence of all that is within you. As you simply feel the energy of divine mother coming to support you. And the energy of divine father coming to be the receptacle in many ways. To hold the space of love for you. To feel the love. To feel the magnificence and the brilliance. Letting go of any harshness, judgment upon yourself, what you believe to be true about yourself, what others have told you about yourself, what you've understood to be as truth that is not true. And simply allow your beautiful light to shine so others may see, so that you may see, that you may honor yourself, that you may feel the brilliance and the magnificence of your own soul. This is the time. This is the now. This is the time. This is the now. This is the time. This is the now. Let your light shine. Let your divine spark shine. And feel the brilliance of you. This is the inspiration we wish to bring you today to inspire you to be all that you are. To feel, to sense, to know your brilliance. To feel and sense and know your truth. To feel and to sense and to know the light that you are. Letting your beautiful light shine so others may see Allow your beautiful light to shine so others may see. Feeling the power, feeling the glory, feeling the peace, and feeling the tranquility upon your soul. Today, let God allow you to shine again, to put a smile upon your face, to feel the power that you are bringing to this world. We cannot tell you how much we see that you have done because it is difficult for you to comprehend what you have done through this lifetime, through all our times, all the lives that you've affected, all the lives that you've changed, who you've touched. You will see this, as they say, when you have your soul with you. But we want you at least to acknowledge this at this time. And to honor the love that you are, honor the peace that you are, honor the magnificence that you are, honor the glory that you are. Let your light shine so others may see. Let your light shine so others may see. Let your light shine so others may see. Feel your power. Feel your power. Feel your power. And so today as we honor you, we ask you to simply honor yourself. as you have celebrated this beautiful day of Mother's Day. And you have been honored by those that have loved you. It is time for you to love yourself. It is time to honor yourself. It is simply time to be free. Go forward with the understanding that all is in order and all is as it should be. Because, dearest ones, you were brilliant, 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 bright lights and your magnificence and your glory and your divine spark will continue to shine throughout eternity and so embrace it empower it become the best that you can be embrace it empower yourself and be the best that you can be holding the light holding the love holding the peace and holding that tranquility upon your soul. 
as if you are holding yourself as a beautiful gem, as I am holding you in the palm of my hand. May you hold yourself in brilliance as the beautiful gem that you are, admiring, loving, treasuring yourself. We know that it's difficult for many of you to do this or to believe this or to understand your brilliance. It is not narcissistic. It is not arrogant. It is simply truth that we wish to share with you upon this day the truth of your magnificence, of your divine spark of light that you are. And so we're asking you to embrace it while you continue to reinforce this over and over and over again as it is encoded within your consciousness, within your subconsciousness, within your mind, within your etheric body, within your energetic blueprint. We are bringing this again literally into your DNA so that you honor your divine spark and the light that you are. We accept this beautiful gift upon this day as a gift from the heavens and honor you as beautiful mothers, as beautiful fathers, as beautiful beings of light. You all are part of the great conclave of the energy of Father and Mother God. You move into unity consciousness with yourself and oneness, accepting, embracing, honoring the light that you are. May you move forward upon this beautiful day, letting go, letting God, releasing and continuing to release the shadow of all that no longer serves you and feeling the power, feeling the glory, feeling the magnificence of your soul, feeling the power, feeling the glory, feeling the magnificence of your soul. You are the change you wish to see. Let your light shine so others may see, feel, and recognize your brilliance and recognize their own brilliance as well. For you are a mirror unto others to show them the power and the glory of who they truly are as a divine child of God, as a magnificent being of light. Holy, holy, holy grace. May you feel the presence. May you feel the power. May you feel the glory of God's living light upon your soul. Go forth, dearest children. Be at peace. Be at peace. Be at peace and truly know that you are loved. Love the unmeasured. Love the uncomprehension. Truly know that you are at peace. Yeshua and I hold you in the palm of our hands, sending you love, sending you love, sending you love. And we thank you, Mary. We thank you, Yeshua. We thank the energy of all the beings of light who come to assist us and to help us on this day. As we give thanks to our own soul, as we step forward into our magnificence and our brilliance, as we are the inspiration, we are the light of the world. May we be at peace and truly know that we hold the power within our own hands as we move forward into the energy of our divine spark. And so it is.